Welcome to the Magic Sponge Podcast. Fuck I'm off, Rob Beckett. Beckett. Here he is, Bullard's and Abby. Did you lose <laughs> on the weekend? Got the right arsehole. Arrow Lev Red going on. Um, Don't you ain't matches. one in the last seven. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Your no. matches keep getting postponed because your pitch is frozen as well, don't they? Um, yeah, true. Hang it's on. just like the pop's English weather, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just a joke. Especially that... Wells falling apart. Oh, he stopped. So I've got Ian Smith here, as usual, and Jimmy Bullard. Bullard, you're not happy. What's happening? You had a row uh, before you come in. I have had a row, yes, again. I've had some Russian dude next door. It's a car park next door. Joel didn't obviously do his own work again, and we couldn't get a parking <laughs> spot. Same old shit. <laughs> and then <laughs> and we pulled up, and this rude prick <laughs> come up to the window. Dan's driving. He's gone, um, you're not in the raid... All right, mate, what car park? Oh, you're in 24, 26. Do you yeah, but I'm looking for 10. <laughs> Russian. Looking for number 10. Yeah, but could you go, mate, I've got Joel on the phone. Can you talk? I'm not talking on the phone. Oh, is that right, you fucking dick? <laughs> well, how about this? Run him over, Dan. I said, <laughs> my, head, my head come up. And then there's a big glass building. I've said, drive the car through the building. <laughs> And Dan's going, what, because he's a bit of a nutter, he's got what, really? <laughs> yeah, do it, do it now. So I was that close with driving the motor through the building. Is everything else all right? Um, we've got Dorian. Yeah, we've got a new, uh, what's that? I don't know what his official role is. Assistant, executive. Assistant, yeah. Assistant producer, and he is absolutely on top of it. And he's, he's, nailing all, it. he's all over it. We've not had this level of quality since Peregrine. Must have run out. Yeah, per- do you remember Peregrine? <laughs> I never met him. I never got to meet Peregrine. <laughs> Fucking hell. What do you he mean was... you never got to meet him? I want, that, that was the episode where oh, John Virgo was on, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, John Virgo was on, and you rung up, yeah. Um, we've got Rowan Ricketts on the show yeah. today, but what's happening yeah. with him? Has he, he Fucking phot- well, a shot. Apparently, he called in and said, um, He's got food poisoning. Can we sure. knock it back an hour? <laughs> Mate, he's always got food poisoning. That's why I had to get rid of him. He so, played for me. He played for Leverett, didn't he? He's always late. Now, shock, he's late again. D- so you sacked him? Because of that. Yeah, is this going to be, is nah, this gonna be awkward? Because, no, no, of course you yeah, I'll just tell him how it is, didn't you? But, no, uh, to be fair, he was brilliant for me. But I just didn't have the money to keep him. Oh, really? Did he score on his debut? He, he a penalty. did score, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a good player. He's really good. But Carrying a bit of timber. But late. Right. Oh, oh, there he is. Here he is. Look, go on, <laughs> Celsa, man. <laughs> Look at him. Stroll on. Ro Ricketts has wandered in. Greeting everyone, not worried about the microphone. Hello, mate. Rob. What's going now? What's going now? Yeah, you good? Yeah, put it there, put it there. I've got the shake Smithy's hand. What? Yeah. You've got the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ricketts has walked in. For all you podcast listeners, Ricketts has walked in the room. I've got the shake Smithy's hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my head's at. That's <laughs> funny. Hey, we're still fuming at this Come Russian. Come on, Rick. Just bring it in, uh, boy. Shot your fucking late again. No, no, no. no How are no. you? What's happened? You usually pay 300 quid. I was in Ajax, isn't people. it? And who are you playing for at the moment then? What club's that? Well, he released me, didn't he? Yeah, he sacked you from memory. He is. Yeah, but, but I, I, I understand. Cause, do you know what happened? <laughs> do you know what happened? I was playing a game. Let's do this. <laughs> you remember, remember the game? <laughs> Who was you playing? Who was you playing? This is this is a joke, but it was a funny story. I and mean, we play. I come on, we're playing away from home. <laughs> and he's got me playing centre mid. He's bringing me in. He says, "Well, you're my linchpin. You're going to be running the show. Experience." And I've gone and called for the ball. I don't know how much you don't know about football. I'm hoping you know a bit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Sometimes cool. you ask for it, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a ball. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a lot, but sometimes. Pass it over here. I'm on board with that so bit. Square it, it's square it. It's a throw. It. It's a throw. And he's thrown it into me. I've told the guy, to give it. I'm going to lend it back to him. Yeah. And I've dropped my shoulder, let it run across my body. The guy didn't go for the dummy. He ran off. Bam, scored a goal. Anyway, they went and won the game 2 1. Yeah. Jimmy said, Rowan, off, son. Half time. Take you off at half time. But at that, at that point, in that half time, he didn't play Leverett again. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> and after that, he was making changes in that month. So I was thinking, fuck it, I know I'm a bit of a name in this club, but I'm not. No one's safe here. <laughs> <laughs> really no cool. one's safe on the bullet. <laughs> hey, Rose, son, There's how no you doing, lad? You're all right. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know what's coming. <laughs> Chop! But yeah, but I love him because he, he treated me like You know yeah. it weren't because of No, that. no, it wasn't because of that. Are you mad? No, 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 no. It no, 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 was, no. Um, no, it was all sort of done, but we don't need Loads of money issues, loads of. Um, I, had, I had two or three midfielders in before Row. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Who I brought in from other clubs. It was just a difficult situation. It's situ- it one of the first difficult situations I've had. But one, one of the best coaches, I'm telling you this right now, I've worked with. And I, really? I, I told Jimmy, yeah, yeah. I was. Because um, I've worked with a lot of coaches just like Jimmy has. 
but it was just fascinating working with him. He just he brought me back to life in terms of my love for football, his attention to detail, and that what was there a month and a half, two months. Yeah, and it was one of the happiest times on my really? career. Cause, yeah, because it, it, it's Good interesting. Right. He's played, he played under yeah, some. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Have you got food poisoning? Can you just go back? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Do that. <laughs> Shit myself earlier. Can you do that me again, because I was as a coach, just in case you didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you said you're going to be late because of food poisoning, but you're all right now. Yeah, I'm all right. It's a bit heavy, but. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. And um, but like, you could you Glenn Oddo managed you, and you're saying Bullard, yeah, Wenger, um, Wenger so as well. Arsenal Wenger first. I have some other coaches, are amazing guys like Don Howe. Yeah, yeah. A legend. But um, Jimmy's one of the best coaches. Yeah, yeah. When I say one of the best coaches, just how he delivers what he wants. So there's a lot of coaches, and me and him spoke about it before. And um, one thing he's amazing at is um, player management, yeah. which is really kind of the main thing because there's only so much you can teach a player yeah yeah. especially when you're uh, managing a senior team but it was just his attention to detail he's very concise and he's just passionate and I, I'm I, he's heard me say this to him I've said it to Jim before on the phone but he's well hopefully he's got a massive career in the game because you need more coaches like him that's nice oh, isn't it Jim yeah, he's very nice isn't it not, not a winning seven but you like the players yeah. are you yeah <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you can only do so much of what he's got, I'm telling you. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? It says funny you. seven, but fucking great, lad. <laughs> Didn't Glenn Oddle? It says that Glenn Oddle put his hand on people's knees. and what, Do you think that he could heal people or something? Or that? Yeah, I heard about that. But I heard that, that was a bit before well, I got to Tottenham. And then when I got to Spurs, he, he had this guy, I forgot his name was, John maybe Messiah or something like that. And he used to come in and talk about visualisation. Did it help me because I didn't fucking score, did I? <laughs> but like, I was so, there. Like, you've played for so many clubs. C- can you remember all the clubs you've played for? Not that many, not that many. Mate, <laughs> can you name them at all the clubs you've played for? It's only 13. 13, can you name them? Um, Arsenal, Arsenal, Tottenham. Yeah. Wolves. Yeah. Barnsley. Yeah. QPR. Yeah. Alone. Coventry. Yeah. Toronto FC. Yep. Diogja. Yep. Um, um, FC Dacia. Oh. FC Dacia. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Da- yeah, I've got it's that Kishinau, one. Kishinau, Kishinau, FC Dacia. Yep. Um, I mean, Dempo. Some... Dempo FC. Dempo, yep, they're here. PTT Ray Young. Yeah, them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah. Um, we've yeah. got Qu- Quevedo. Quevedo. Yeah, yeah. yeah Eastern Ecuador. Sports Club. East Sports Club, Hong Kong. Oh, Apani wow. Limited, wow. Dakar. Shamrock yeah. Rovers. Yeah, the, uh, SV Willemshaven. Yeah, all of them. Quality. Germany. Everywhere. It's a fucking joke. You've got some on. quality air miles, haven't you? You missed the fucking main one. Oh, Lever, 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 <laughs> yeah, what does it say? I was gonna message you about that one. I hope you can fucking hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but listen, yeah, Ben he's Thatcher, not right, is he? He's snatch. Yeah, in fact, uh, he's nuts. And I was gonna bring that story up because I, I spoke about it, and that's probably how you picked up in the magazine. Yeah, he was nuts. He just was wild. Like, yeah. so he turned up. Do you play with him as well, somewhere? I know all about him. Where, where was you with him? Spurs. Okay. And he was on a lot of money, a lot of lolly. He was on a lot of money. He didn't give a shit either. Glenn didn't want to play him. He used to come in pissed. I mean, in the gym. <laughs> and, just, you know, and he, um, not every time, because he's he quite professional. Well, he's professional coming in pissed, yeah, but he's, he used to come in all over the gaff sometimes. And we went to a, we are playing an away game. I don't know why. We just, he's a bit like huge. He was a bit nuts, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but he just turned up. He turned up. We walked into the hotel. I don't know why. He had flip flops on. We walked to the reception. We're standing there. And then something just took him, the demons took him. <laughs> he's running and he's two footed tackle flip foot with a plant vase. I <laughs> smashed it to pieces <laughs> and left. <laughs> so that massive plant pot, he just two footed? Yeah, two footed. <laughs> and left. That was, that was it. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, he just like bump, flip. Yeah, gone. he just flipped like on. He, he, he also then. Did he not say, boys, watch this? There's another one. Snatch, if you're out there, brother, this is only a story. I love you. You know I love you. Listen to it. He was out in... Um, well, you know, I was about to tell a story. It was Carlton Palmer. It wasn't even him. <laughs> but, no, I'm fucking talking too much. Keep it rolling. Do you think yeah. Jimmy is one of the best managers and coaches you've had players, man? What's about the worst managers you've had? Any managers that have just been hard-working or not gone with? Not gone with? Um, 
There's been a few, but I don't remember you their names. Like they're they're out in um, Hungary and Mongolia. Oh, so wait, they, those... they used to turn up to training drunk and stuff like that. Yeah, mm. the managers. Horrible. Yeah, like <laughs> and like stuff like we'll be playing uh, five uh, six v six, and the ball go out seven yards, and they're screaming "play on!" and players are running up little hills, and it's like, I'm like, what is this? And then I can't get in the team; they lose twelve in a row. Yeah. Um, no, it's yeah. like uh, at my secondary school, our football pitch, there used to be a pond in it. So they just filled in the pond, but there's like a big lump where the soil Play was. On. Just keep it on the pitch. <laughs> so yeah. every now and then it's just people going in like a bit of sand and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like, but they have that in professional football in like yeah, Moldova. Yeah, Moldova. In, in, I've had, yeah, in, in, in Hungary, terrible coach. Well, I had three coaches in three months Yeah, in Hungary. It was disgraceful. <laughs> uh, Moldova. Toronto FC, I loved it. I was playing you under have, John Carver. You, you must have played for, with so many other players and stuff like that. And I've, he's like, you've got that story about Righty, Ian, about the team bus. Yeah, he did, it, it. did Ian Wright borrowed, borrowed the team bus? He, no, it was, I was a young lad and I was at Arsenal. I remember Wright, he jumped on the um, the coach. Was that London Colney? How Cone? funny's Wright? Right, he's, he's, he's the governor. He's isn't proper. He's, he's yeah. In playing football, and Jim said it's like, you meet a lot of the footballers, I think it's just all the same. Yeah. And then, I mean, they're living, in, they're living in a bubble and they keep themselves in it and they don't actually show their personality because yeah. maybe they're not confident naturally. Do you know what I mean? And the football... Um, the title of being a professional footballer is what ca- maybe carries them through. Yeah, yeah. Whereas then you've got people like me and Jimmy. You know I mean, we just roll in and mm. we're life of the party. Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've never, I've never heard anyone say that so seriously, though. Know? No. I don't know about you, but I'm the life of the party. <laughs> <laughs> and I will be the life of the party, right, whether you like it or not. You're right, isn't you? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Honestly. Um, so he just, he just nicked the team bus end of it. Yeah, he just jumped on it and he took a little... Do you know what I mean, it was at London Colney, so now it's yeah. at Watford's training ground. And maybe he didn't have his light. I don't know what he was doing, but he just went and he took a little dip in the ditch. Bam! Little touch on the tree, and we had to run off the bus. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ian Wright. He's he's a proper. <laughs> he's a shout proper out. driver. Um, and st- was it Graham? Was it Graham Stack there? Uh, Stacky. 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 Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a, a ledge. No, yeah, we've no, we got him was on out with Stacky week. about a month ago. Absolute lunatic. He's, he's proper no. nuts. Guess, guess whose mate it is? Best mate, Jamie Ann's best mate. Oh, is it? Yeah. And oh. Joe Squash's mate's a great stack. Time, we'll, Imagine him free next, out. If he, is he on next podcast? We'll yeah. bring a crash helmet with that one. Yeah. 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 Who's that, Stacky? Yeah, yeah, he's a lunatic. He's, I looked at him, he looks huge I'm, and mental not right, as well. No, he's not right, he's not he's, right. He's, he's not stable. He used to do some crazy shit as well. <laughs> look yeah, at his mind going. It's good. I was, to, I was talking to what I was about to say. Stacks, wag one, brother. Hopefully he listens to this one <laughs> but yeah stacks you know what he used to do what we used to be in the showers we'd be in the showers and just everyone's in there arsenal youth team in there and he was filth he had all these rashes on his legs and stuff and he'd just start pissing on someone <laughs> in the shower <laughs> yeah but he's a good guy yeah. he's a real good guy <laughs> i love stack <laughs> Job if someone's pissing on you, you're no, fucking it, hit him. It's all banter though. Yeah. <laughs> all I mean? in, in, the football, in, in the football world, it's all banter. He's mad. I mean, he pisses on it, people, he's the one with the rashes. Mix it mixes with the water. Yeah, you know I mean? don't understand that. Yeah. And yeah, apparently it's got, got a lot of shampoo, protein right? in it. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. I don't and understand that. Were there any other players at Arsenal that youth team that were a bit like that? Was it Stacky the worst or no Stacky Stacky was wild. Jermaine Pennant was crazy, he's always late. It's a real character, but he was... Fucking <laughs> pot kettle. Yeah. Uh, sorry, oh, sorry, dear. Sorry. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, no, he, used to, like, he, was, he was so gifted that when he, obviously, he turned up late and Liam Brady used to kind of, like, um, he used to let him, let him get away, but we used to tell him off, but he used to try and remind the other players that this wasn't the way to go. But I remember mm. him I remember him saying, he came in late and he had, like, Egg McMuffin all over his cream top. He was sitting there, <laughs> his ears are, like, flying out of the fucking <laughs> room. <laughs> And he, <laughs> his ears are flying out the room. <laughs> and he's sitting there, and then all of a sudden, we need to his do an phone goes episode. off. And then all of a sudden, Liam's like, Listen, lad, you can't keep doing this, lad. You come. Is that a good Irish Yeah, it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jimmy, you just did a good Russian one. I'm good at doing it. No, that was really a good, good. good one. So, listen, lad, you're going <laughs> to. Uh, anyway, he said, Liam, listen. <laughs> Listen, we're, doing, we're doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he, did, he was just telling him that he's going to have to um, buckle up because his ability is not going to just be enough. It yeah. was in the end, but he said, look at someone like Stephen Sidwell who didn't have half his ability. Mm. But, and Orange Air. 
and Orange Air. <laughs> and he was saying, but what Steven Sidwell had would be enough to carry him through. And he, I think, had the most successful career out of all of us. Oh, out of that group, yeah. yeah. That group. He wasn't as talented, but yeah, he, 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 he had work, work. Yeah, hard work, and he got, he started getting goals, and he just applied himself. I think we all applied ourselves. Was Bentley in that squad? Yeah, he was, was the year below or two years below. Yeah, but sometimes he used to play with us. Yeah, but he was another one. He he was just a character. He was just having himself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he loved Bentley. himself. Yeah, but but he was he was a player. So when you're that good, you can have yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he was good. Though. Yeah, he's, he he was better than what the public actually yeah knew. Like yeah, I mean, like I'm in a the massive end, believer that proper, like, some stuff. So, he's... Yeah, so even like I'm gonna say about Jimmy again, not Jimmy, because you're not gonna sign me again, are you? Um, <laughs> sorry, no, sorry. So Jim, for example, even some players in, in England, there are some football players, and he's one of them. Like, and I saw it more. You usually see it usually when you play with someone or train with them. Yeah. Because if I play against Jimmy and I'm playing a half or you play the whole game, you don't really get to see what he's about. You got to see him day in day yeah. out. And when I was training with him the other day, I know obviously he's not as fit as he used to be, but you see little qualities of a say like a continental footballer yeah. but you, you the English media wouldn't be talking about that yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Saying, oh how much ground he might cover oh Jimmy scored or oh he's a good footballer do you know what I mean or sometimes you might perceive it differently. I mean, yeah. but when I was training with the other team, right, it's proper. Well, I proper. think that's a bit like Adam Lallana. He's yeah. so gifted, but if if like if he was like a young Portuguese or Brazilian oh, yeah, coming, they'd be going, "Oh my God, look at this new great!" Mm. You know. But he's more fortunate than I think maybe someone like me or Jimmy because now that in England, I think a lot of teams now yeah. after probably Spain, Changing. yeah, Spain and Barcelona. Did, um, dominated for so You only get fingered years. for so long, can't you? Yeah, and it's true. <laughs> yeah, and, we, and, we, and, we, and we spoke about this a lot. And <laughs> what? What's that mean? Oh, well, well, English football, we've been fingered for so long. We go and play, we get in the Champions League quarters. We'll yeah. be like, that's our um, final. Yeah, yeah, we love it. You go there and you get fingered 4 0 by Barca, you're like, oh, they're good. <laughs> and then you and start, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, it's just, we're, the FA just starting to realise yeah. now. Oh, hang on, I think, I think we've been doing it wrong for the last 50 years. <laughs> yeah. With all the money and resources you know, that we have. Yeah. So for me, um, they're doing a whole new review of the FA now and about the structure of it. And stuff 50 like that. years too yeah, late. It's just yeah. crazy. What about the Tottenham? What are the players like? There was, it was the Jokers there or in the in the dressing room. Jokers, um, Robbie Keane, Robbie Keane, uh, Jamie Redknapp. Jamie, Jamie was he was a skipper at the time, but he's funny. They used to um, they used to have a thing that was going on between. It started between those two, so it was like they used to go. It was funny. So what they used to do is to finish training and. Um, Robbie would go into uh, Robbie would go into Jamie's pocket, yeah. So he'd message Louise. Okay. So he'd message Louise something like what he wants to do to her, but as Jamie, <laughs> but Jamie was not obviously going to be messaging <laughs> his missus at that time. So he might say, "Listen, babe, I'm coming home. Yeah. I want to lay you out. I'm going to sort you right out." And <laughs> say, uh, do you know what I mean? And he's saying, "Make sure you're ready." And this, yeah. that, that. I'm just finishing training. I'm coming home in my boots and st- just crazy stuff. Yeah. Come and on, then my Jamie. Boots. I remember Jamie, I think Jamie messaged, I don't remember who the gaffer was at the time, maybe yeah. it was Martin O'Neill, um, Island gaffer, just listen, you're the best gaffer I've ever had, I'm really, <laughs> just, just, and it's like, Jamie's sucking him right off, you know what I mean? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, yeah. so each other right there, yeah, it? Yeah, like, it, it got, it got deep, but. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, oh, have you, I, I, I've got to say, have you got, you're going to get a chant ready for Rowan as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're going to get a chant ready. Right. Um, you, oh, what words it got to be in the chant? We'd always find what out word would you find like in that? your chant, Rowan? I don't care. Just, no, just pick a word that there, you yeah. really like and here put it in the chant. Brother. Brother's got to go in the chant Brother. as well. Oh, yeah. Who would say that if get drunk, get into a scrap and end up in a cell, Bob's your uncle, I'll be back Monday morning? That's what he'd tell you before he went on a night out. I ain't got a clue. Who said that? That's I've read that about you online. Go on, go on. So it says... The, um, before we would go out, he'd ask him what he's going to do at the weekend, and he'd always say something like, "Get drunk, get into a scrap, and end up in a cell." Bob's your uncle. I'll be back by Monday morning. Ah, oh, you know that is. That's it's got, it's got his name written all over, <coughs> isn't it? Thatcher, Carlton Palmer. Snatch, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Carlton Palmer was it? No, no. <laughs> it was, was Carlton Palmer. A snatch. A snatch. Who's Snatch? Thatcher. Ben Thatcher. You know, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. Yeah. Who was um, it then? What's what's it? It? Was it? it was Ben Thatcher. Well, he's just told you it was. Oh, Game fucking track. hell, Smithy. You're fucking a weirdo. Hell. <laughs> God, it's so stressful He's such a weirdo. I feel, he doesn't even tell you. Did you know who it was? Yeah, no, no, he said no, who it no. was. It's his life. Yeah, well, tell him who it fucking is, then. He knows who it is. He said his story. Okay, that's your life. Ask me a question. What colour is that Coke can? Well, it's red. And then you just go on the next question. You've got to tell him if you're right or wrong. <laughs> you know, it's it's obvious question, it's yeah. Feels like someone's trying to prove that they're not Fucking lazy hell. in this podcast. 
Well, I'm definitely not lazy. Um, Don't come too deep or I'll iron the pair of you, Zach. <laughs> Seriously, I'm fucking the Russians give me the arsehole. <laughs> bring up this well, what's this when about, I fucking um, go? Breed, I'll go. Breeder Hagelin saying that you're weak, though, mate. Fuck what's, Breeder what's Hagelin, the lanky oh, streak of piss. Never go in the gym. Yeah, Fuck Breeder Hagelin called you weak. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Breeder was too bothered about growing his muscles. He should have grew a pair of bollocks. That's the end of that. All right? The fucking Ooh, lanky seven foot. Get, what is he? Let's Dutchman? get one the Norwegian. <laughs> too bob prick. <laughs> Uh, Brenda hand, hand, hand. We've not latest. even heard of him. Never heard of him. Never. Fulham centre back. Mean, what's the point? Um, Who's he? The Fulham centre back. Oh, about Hangel, we yeah. Know Massive geezer. Yeah, right. He, he uh, wrote a list of the laziest footballers and put Jimmy Bullard in it. Said he'd never go to the gym. He's obviously skint, isn't he? <laughs> 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 I write a story so the papers get out of it going 300 quid he's obviously skinned go ahead um, we'll yeah, let him so have his two minutes the lanky <laughs> streak and then that'll be done with that won't it Barnsley he was at Barnsley um, and you do play a practical joke called Andy Johnson at Barnsley fuck the... Barnsley oh, oh. Jono yeah, he's, <laughs> like, he's got a finger but many come on Jimmy five nah. more promotions you might oh, play him fuck him <laughs> <laughs> I think you need more than five, don't you? I don't know. I'm fucking worried about relegation promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the next game, Jim? Fuck knows. <laughs> probably, Sorry, called, probably fucking called off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know that? So basically, they couldn't get to the ground, so the game got called off. Hey, it's bollocks. Have you got to have you heard it? You like you can't get to the ground, we're called off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, would you? Oh, all right then. So do you have to play it again, or do you win? Win? No, you have to play it again. Who are you playing? You must get the win. You should win. We're still in 2015. Replays from twenty nineteen. That's an absolute joke. <laughs> There's a few pre millennium replays we've got to get through. Mm. Um, Grimsby are winning our league. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. so, with Andy Johnson at Barnsley, what happened to? John, John, no, John just had a phobia. He yeah. had a phobia. Look, AJ of... from Palace. Is Andy he from Johnson. Palace? No, not that look. Not AJ, that AJ. Um, centre midfield player. Played for, I think he played, did he have a spell at West Brom? He's up and down, <clears throat> long hair. Okay. Yeah, he, he just, no, he had a bad phobia for... Spiders? Toilet paper, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that ruins no. your life so much. No, no you must have a run, How the hell have you... What? Cotton wool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He ain't white. Yeah, I'll show you was, was it. I, I'm on the Have you seen? He don't yeah. like cotton wool either. Fucking terrible. Shit! <laughs> 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 I don't like cotton wool. Well, I imagine right. getting loads of it and putting it in your mouth. Honestly, what it does, if you fucking tear the stuff... It makes a weird noise. Oh, what face room. you're doing, Jim. Oh, yeah. You don't like it? No. Nah. Loads of people have I that. I get it. It's like the chalkboard up the chalk. Yeah, yeah. The cotton wool fucking hell. So yeah, someone ruined, rammed his clothes, yeah. all his clothes with cotton wool, yeah. rammed the stuff. Oh, it's fucking evil. And he's come back, <laughs> yeah, and he's come back in from evil. training. No, heaving. Oh, been sick? Been heaving sick? Not heaving, like heaving. He wanted to fuck. He wanted to scrap. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. Because he was really <laughs> fucked and this, really fun. And I think he oh. kind of got wind that someone was like... Yeah. Over there, yeah. it's over there. And he brought in, because he lived like on, I think he had a bit of a farmhouse. Yeah. So he brought in a big, stinking fucking rat. <laughs> dead one. <laughs> Obviously, fucking dead one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a dead rat. And he planted it around the fella. But I can't remember the fella was. But, but put it in that there. He's, oh, he's around. Sick, he's, yeah, he was not. He's not. Yeah, well. cotton wool. But what? a cotton wool, yeah. Have you got any phobias? Um, yeah, claustrophobic. Yeah, football? So, yeah, football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another story at Barnes, it was another crazy one. Um, I was late. Well, well, Shock. Yeah, we fucking go. <laughs> He's fucking sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I was going. He, was, he went, I was like, uh, you yeah. held on to that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I was late to go out for training. And my boots was in I was the boot room, so I've gone up to the boot room and it was like it was it was a weird boot room because it was like it was open, yeah. but it was closed at the same time. It sounds nuts, right? But it was like <laughs> it, it was fucking there on the hinges. So I'm there fucking fucking me late, and he was strict. Simon Davey was finding people. So like, fucking, you know, so I'm looking around. Like, so I need to get in this room. So I've just gone back and I've gone bang, and I've kicked the door because I need to get my boots and no one's there. Yeah, yeah. that's what you got to do, and you got to get in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I've got in, picked up the boots, looked around. Ran out, ran out, boom. If come back and say, look, someone, I never realised that I've booted and the hinge has come off. Oh, yeah. They've come back round and there's a little inquest going on, who booted the door off, who done it, and everyone's like, it's, so he's like, was it you, was it you, Garks? And everybody, I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Then he calls me in the office, he sits me down, he's like, right, I just want to have a chat with you and stuff. And he's like, do you know anything about the door? I said, nothing. He's like, <laughs> do you, you sure? You don't know anything about oh, it? Because no. later you might know something about it. Nothing about it. He's like, right, come here. 
shows me the video camera footage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm fucking watching it. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> then I just I looked up in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like, then I've gone like, uh, thinking the camera's not working, is it? Going to the football club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then brilliant. I'm there. Put my, and then he's like, yes, like find me half a week. But it was, it was, oh. no, I bet it's embarrassing though when you see yourself kick it. Yeah, I look <laughs> you turn around, you I still go. Like, told you it weren't me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's that smile. It only takes four attempts. Yeah, <laughs> you're still That's watching yourself. Isn't it? Yeah, Did, our horrible feeling. Yeah, horrible feeling. But it was like. Did he kind not of smiled. turn it into a crack? Did he say? A little bit, yeah, because he was cool with me. Sam Davies a nice guy. He wasn't that cool. He gave you two weeks wages. Yeah, no, half, half a week's wages mm. and he, he and then never got back in the team either, so. How how did you go, play for so many countries? Who, who's your agent? Who sort this out? That's Eric, the problem. Eric Eric Hall? Fucking agent. Bubbler? <laughs> Bubble, bubble. Do you know I what did say bubble, bubble, Let me tell you about bubble. agents. I've got the worst agent over there. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! 50% he's, he's had a bit of a uh, um, image shift though. He's dressed up as Cruella Deville. Let me tell you something. He don't know whether he's coming or going. <laughs> so, and why? Why did you move so much? What was it? Do you know what it is? And this maybe and um, kind of educated people a bit because we're having a fucking laugh. But <laughs> listen, when you move out this country as an English football player. If you're not a Beckham or an Owen and you're not moving to a Liga or a big German league, yes. you, you're going to kind of tarnish your your name and the brand. And, and so when you go into countries like Moldova, you, yeah. you might be going there because you want... There's players who don't get into their first team at Chelsea and they might drop down to League Two. It might be better for them to go and play in Eastern Europe, yeah, in yeah. Sweden or somewhere else. But what happens is when you go to those countries, you're kind of um, outside and out of mind. Yeah. So when, when you want to come back, when you've kind of matured and yeah. established yourself and prove that there's a player, they don't want to know because it's like, you're like, where you been? So yeah. they were, it's easier for them to go and sign a lad that was playing regularly in League One. Yeah. You've the, in League One, then Ebring goes up to the Premier League or the Championship, and then you stay outside the country, try and get back in, it's not going to happen, so you end up moving on again to yeah, another country. Yeah, but like, was it Kazim Richards did that in Turkey? Yeah, so but he, never, he, he come back a bit, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, but the thing what he had in his favour was that he's, uh, I think he's got a Turkish passport. Yeah, oh, So he okay. can go and play for the Turkish, he's a good player, he can yeah. go play for the Turkish national team. Yeah. Um, so that helped him a lot. But then I went to one country, and then that kind of messes up your, your CV, and then it's like, oh... Why was he? Why was he there? You must have fell off, and then all of a sudden you move on to the yeah. next one because you got to keep trying to earn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And exactly. the longer you stay out the game, they say oh, you haven't been playing. You sign for the club that you shouldn't really sign for. Yeah. They oh, why did you sign for that team? I was in the MLS and tried to come back when the MLS was relatively new. Beckham yeah. was playing there. There was not no other players there. And when I tried to move back to England, there was like oh, he's playing in the MLS. Yeah. Whereas now, yeah, yeah. I think about seven eight years that they're taking young American kids. Yeah, yeah, back then they would never thought so it's just it's just bad timing I don't yeah. I don't look at it as an excuse it's just, that was the reasons because yeah. coming back I couldn't get a trial in championship yeah, but it's interesting as well you've so, gone to different places and done different things isn't it? Well, would you be a co- want to be a coach or manager yeah, definitely, definitely 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 uh, because you've got but, so much experience of it also as well you took mm. you know you talk well and you, you obviously love yeah. football I think some you know like there's a lot Did of players you talk better than me I think when you <sighs> at the moment yeah I think you sometimes you're too dictated by your mood okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've not spent as much time with Rowan. No, he's yeah, you were like this when we first did, didn't you? It was all acting. Yeah. Top <laughs> we've, had some, no, we've, had some, we've had some great conversations, but I think players, there's a lot of players obviously got a lot of experiences, but I still don't think that's enough to maybe be a coach. Yeah. Um, you have to actually truly love it and like be, and I, I learned, well, I've always been like this, but be uh, constantly trying to be a learner, learner, yeah, yeah. learner. And he's like, Jimmy's like that. Uh, and even when I was over in Ajax, even if you get time, or I can hook yeah. you up if you want to go over there, they're so open. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, like, over there at certain clubs, I went to go see my old club, Arsenal, and I could get in there, but you had to, like, plan everything. Do you know what I mean? It's a week in advance, go and see the kids. Oh, really? Was Ajax, I just turned up on a day, they walked me around, showed me the under-13s, invited me to watch um, Ajax versus Juventus under-14s. It was just like that. Oh, really? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and they, yeah. they produce, like, well, you see yeah. what they've been produced over mm. the last 20 years. Well, David Pretty didn't go on with David Pretty, uh, did you? Football, <laughs> professional football, you come and you need people that's going to love you, yeah, because they're going to help you um, progress in your career. Um, sometimes players, um, coaches don't like you. Could be for your style, could yeah. be maybe your attitude. Um, but Pretty, from the, he, he never liked me. I don't know. He, he, he rated me as a footballer. Yeah. So I heard him speaking to other people about me and stuff. But just I don't know. Like some people said, it was because um, they he bought Jonathan Blondell with the money that because he was a director of football. Yeah. He brought Jonathan Blondell, I think, for a million euros. Then I came for free from Arsenal. So we played similar positions. Yeah. Um, obviously, they had to justify why they paid a million euros for Jonathan Blondell, who's a Belgium international at yeah. the time. 
Um, so he got his debut before me, but Glenn thought I was a better prospect. So Glenn kept telling me that, and he would have me around the first team. And Blondell was there as well. Especially that faith from someone like Glenn Hoddle, if he thinks. He you was know. like, Glenn Hoddle. Did you ever join in training? Glenn Hoddle <laughs> joined in training. This <laughs> guy is he's un- unbelievable. He used to join in training, <laughs> he was left. Right, right, just yeah. outside the boot, in, like it was, he, he was fantastic. He was like a weirdo, well, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like weird. I love Glenn, and sometimes it, it's difficult for me to say and admit that he was a bit. I don't like to say weirdo, no, but, but, but eccentric, a, bit, mm. you know. He was just a bit, nah, weirdo. Do you know what individual. No, do you know what it is? He's extremely lunatic. confident, and Psycho? he and he's very honest. <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because a lot of people don't say what they're thinking. Wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, so he was very honest. So if he thought your technique wasn't good enough, he'll just say it. He'll yeah. just say it. Oh, rude, then. Yeah, rude. yeah, you can see him, but he's just honest. Because yeah. if you fucking can't take free kicks, he'll say you're not good at free kicks. Do yeah, I, mean? I don't said, like them people. Yeah, so he, Glenn was like that, and he was. Um, but he loved me a lot. Um, but Pleaty, I remember having meetings. I'd have a meeting at one o'clock with um, with David Pleaty, and he's like saying, "Um, you, hey, Rohan, um, you, them." I saw your game yesterday against Watford. Mm, very was good. Was he three foot tall? You, you, dec- you played <laughs> very well. Like a, like a mouse. Was you, he a minion? You decorated the pitch. You decorated the pitch very well, but you didn't make much tackles yesterday. <laughs> Physically, much tackles. you need to be playing in a team that can keep more possession. And oh. I don't know if we keep enough possession. I'm going to make some calls to Belgium. Oh, because yeah. technically you're fantastic, but you know the game English game is very very dynamic, and you're not at Arsenal no more. Hmm, so leave it with me. <laughs> That's after having a good game yesterday. <laughs> F- Thirty minutes later, Glenn calls me in his office. Hey, there, Rowan. Um, yes, um, we would like to um, talk to you probably about renewing your contract if you can keep up what you've been doing. I'm gonna have you run the first team even more now and try to get you on the bench more but bear with me because we need to win some games don't listen to what David Pete's saying to you I don't know why he doesn't like you that was in the space of 30 minutes and yeah. that happened about 6-7 times oh that was so a bit torn between so, yeah. it's fucked up isn't it you're a young boy from the fucking ghetto yeah, it's not right. <laughs> from fucking Brixton <laughs> yeah. and you're yeah. coming in you're trying to you know yeah, achieve something in life bullshit. and you've got one guy telling you that but understand that <clears throat> everyone's different yeah. you know I mean? and that's what I think sometimes stifles people like that in this country whereas in Brazil it's like hey he's like that you yeah. know I mean? he bounces in this is and even America as well it's sort of like seen as a good thing like that. but here How do you, you... Know? you haven't even been there we've just oh. seen America the plot <laughs> I've never been to it. No, you've never seen. You've never seen. How do you know that? Why did you what? just say that? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> What's your mom's name? Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't know about the racket or not. I don't know what you're popping, mate. Come South know. London lads. No, yeah, don't worry about it. No, I'm saying, because you know what Americans are like? You get there, it's just so in your face and confident, yeah, yeah. and that's just the way it is. I know what you mean. And you can talk about your <laughs> and qualities. He knows what he means, but do yeah. you know what he means? I know what I mean, mate. Oh, right. Okay. Um, but, uh, brilliant. How many yeah, times well, have you been to America, Rob? I've been to America four times. No, I'm talking about seeing the, the football? players yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah, because football is completely different to all other Americans here. Yeah, you're right. That's fucking hell, mate. Oh, I'm a footballer. I know all about football. It's all just fucking people kicking something, mate. <laughs> it's well, it's so difficult trying to get out of the ghetto. And they're like, oh, David, please be mean to me. And then Glenn O'Donnell's going, oh, but I like you. But then David was going, oh, I don't know. And I just didn't know what to do. Pathetic, mate. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> No, no, no. He's got these comments to like. You've got to get video in here, Joel. get the video in. He's there to oh, turn, yeah. turn, turn these little turntables. <laughs> yeah. um, have you got any other, any other stories you want to share like, with like s- funny stuff on nights out with players and stuff like that? Or players you've gone out that are a bit, you know, a bit of an handful because you've got Thatcher. Is anyone else like that? Snatch. Incy's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Because hey, Ian Wright was saying this. Paul Edwards um, would just try and fight him. Yeah, he was just nuts. Beat each other up, messing about. I'm trying to remember some of the stories. He was just, he was, I think he was the funniest one. <laughs> Pull in. Yeah, but the stories, and he was the only guy, I don't know why, because he's he's a good football player, and he was better football, I was a Man United fan growing up, but he's a better football player than, because if you say, if if I say Paul Lynch, what do you think of? What style of player? Oh, just sort of like tough tackling, hard man, enforcer. And he's not. No. He's, he, he's that, Yeah. but he's technically very good. Yeah, yeah. Do you know I mean? Both feet. It could take free kicks and stuff. Uh, so he shocked me, but he was the only guy that had a sticker of him on my wall. All oh, right, yeah. As a kid, and I don't know fucking why, because he's not my style of player that I like. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Easy, Jimmy. <laughs> um, and then he goes, um, so yeah, so I get down, sign for walls, end up meeting him. 
And then tra- I remember the first time in training, I fucking megged him. It was sweet as. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Skipped by him and he's literally chased me down and just cleaned me off my feet. Like, dirty fucking tackle. And he's picked me. Don't ever fucking try that again, all right? I'm the fucking governor. That's what he says. like. <laughs> I was like, all right, fucking Noski. All right, Gov. <laughs> but yeah, he, he, he was just amazing. He would do like he would come into training and he'd bowl in, just bowl in. He's coming in. He'd look around the training room, sit down there. Sometimes he'd fucking might like, be naked, Joe. You know I mean? Yeah, he's sitting there with the fucking lad out, and he's going, "Fucking, hell, I don't know what I'm fucking doing here with you guys. I'm fucking multi." <laughs> I'm fucking doing it keeping you guys are fucking afloat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He would say that and then he he was just he was so harsh. Yeah. yeah once while I was doing an interview with Sky Sky, it was at it was it was at Wolves training ground and I um, was talking to Sky and then Inti comes bowling by and he's known the, the lady for a long time. I forgot what her name was. So he's come strolling down, he's uh He's going, fucking hell, how are you fucking doing? What's happened to you? You let yourself fucking go. <laughs> Just like that. No banter. <laughs> nothing. Waiting for an answer as well. He's <laughs> <laughs> fucking waiting for an answer. I'm sitting there, fucking, I love you. He was, he was like, he just... I, 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 we was playing, where was we playing? In a away game. <laughs> That's when you're on the side and so you actually get up with the answer as well. This would be brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, it was a away game and um, he, he, he loved me. I mean, as a player, as a person, and he's kind of keep me on his wing. He's called me Little Inti and I loved him for his banter. He, 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 he really shot well, an He probably loved me. it when you nutmegged him because you had that confidence and then he said all that stuff to you, but then he probably yeah, loved it as like. Yeah, he just, he just was a lovely guy. He used to call me up and talk about football and fucking slate the team if me and were in the team. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but then he, um, we're playing away game and he's the governor and he's at the end of his career. Filthy rich, as he loves to say. And um, he calls me to his room. He's like, Louis, come to my room after we get settled in. I want to have a chat with you. So I fucking, we've got a big game tomorrow, I mean, so I've knocked on his room. Fucking run, this guy's in them fucking white fronts, fags, like fucking wine, and he's just sitting down, <laughs> sprawled out. What the fuck is this? So I mean, you're my fucking idol. <laughs> so, he was like Scarface, and uh, Chino. He's like, fuck, he sit down there, then he starts just giving me a lecture about where you should be playing, like, what level you should play at? You're not fucking taking this serious. Yeah. You should, you're fuck, you should be at Man United and your fucking ability. You got fuck. He was just slating into him, but he was he was the like proper. He was the governor. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 I remember once we were playing a game and he told um, he would tell you the story. He wanted to come off because we was already winning the game, and his legs were fucking gone in and he's gone fuck. He's telling him to get him off. So then they've what well, happened? They they tell him they said, get me off, get me off. And they took him off a younger lad. Yeah. So Inti just ran out, fucking charged into someone, booked stupid tackle. Got suspended, was getting suspended. Inti, what are you do? Stupid tackle. He goes, you don't fucking take me off. That's what he was on about. That's what he was all about. The governor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that enough Inti stories? Yeah. 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 Fuck um. me. <laughs> 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 um, Brilliant. What, what about the time you were in? You said you played in a, a match that was fixed. How did you know it was fixed? Like what? What went on? Because Jimmy called me up, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Wait to get a red before. card on forty six minutes. The game that I, he called me up, and then I done the fucking chop the shoulder at work. Then he ends up chopping me. <laughs> and we lost the game. That it was in Hungary. Yeah. Admiral Dover and uh, both both countries, and I was I was sitting in like change room, and I heard him talking, and I said this was in um, Hungary first. And they're talking about in Russian. I'm like, what's going on? Because the, the coach was a Russian guy. So I'm like, what the fuck's going on? They said, yeah, we're trying to work out if we give our bonuses to the ref for the whole season. I was like, oh. And then they said, then the player said, no, we'll do it for the next game. So I was like, cool. So anyway, we, we won the game. And then the, we, had the, we had a friendly the following game. And it was a friendly against the Romanian side. And then I remember my centre back, our centre back, getting the ball, double step overs in the, the six yard box, slipping and they're scoring. But he did it twice. What the fuck? The fuck is he doing? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Then I find out after he's fucking been paid. And you know what I mean? And, and we're getting slated in the changing because not everybody, even I don't think the coach knew. Oh, right. Really? The owners and stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's a mess, but do you know what I mean? It's a fucking mess, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> just fucking um, nice. Are you playing for at the moment? Bro? I'm a free transfer at the moment, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep playing or I'm going to go How straight into coaching. 34. 34, yeah, so it's sort of a yeah, yeah, couple yeah, years. So I, could... I want to keep playing, but it's like, I was lucky when I played for him because he actually wants to play football. Yeah. But then it's like, pff, go and play for another guy. It's like, if you're not going to play football, yeah. at my age, I'm going to say football, you're like on the floor trying to pass through the lines and stuff. Actually trying to do it like he says. Yeah. Yeah. Is not. It's uh, gonna. Have you done your badges yet? Yeah, I've done my badges. Oh, where did you do those? In Belfast. Bangladesh. In the, <laughs> <laughs> the piss up place. Yeah. In, yeah, yeah. You've heard about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the place where everyone does their badges. You gotta get over there, cutters. You gotta get down to cutters. Man. Really? So how much did it cost to do the course? Uh, they pay you. Like, they pay. <laughs> yeah, no, I love that. I think it was like oh no, it's maybe three grand. I can't remember. The yeah. PFA subsidised some of it. All oh, right. Yeah. And it's the, be- it's the best place to do it, is it? I think so. Did yeah. you enjoy yourself there? Yeah, I loved it. Oh, yeah. still Should anyone do it? I'd just have to be. Don't think about baller. it. Smith. You can't fucking do it, I tell you. Don't think Why? about it. Smith. That a, fucking air got got <laughs> <laughs> They yeah. won't let you in. Wait, that would be a good <laughs> show for Dave. We should have us three doing our badges. Yeah, oh, we'll be good. Have you done your badges? Rob, proper fancy yourself as a player. Are you having some No, I don't. Co- I don't. No, he's. Joe, what position? What's that? What position do you I don't play. I don't play eleven or so. No, but you don't play eleven. He cracks what me up when you're at? asking this. I love it. It <laughs> goes all at? like a kid. What am I good at? I'm good at. Sh- I'm, I play up front when I play sort of like five or seven. Sort of yourself. play like I'm, five or seven. Gonna, what are you good at? I'm good at whole. Proper fancy shirt. I'm not. Proper fancy shirt was a number nine. Hold it up. <laughs> Give the ball to Beckett. <laughs> I'll call it up, little turn goal, snap shot goal. Yeah, you one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you fancy yourself, man. I can you tell, the best your, I can tell the mix. way you carry yourself. Yeah, but I, well, I'm, well, I'm one of the best out of people that play, but we're all rubbish, aren't we, Ian? No. I've, never, I've never seen you play this. I don't know if you're, I'm quite, I'm quite, if you're good I'm quite or if you're strong talking yourself up. I can hold up the ball. Strong. I think it's got to be. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah. yeah, I can hold the ball up. Yeah. I can turn and finish. Are you any good, though? Tell the truth. What's that? No, I'm not good. I'm not good. We got that sorted out. I don't think I could play for Leverett. Um, right, have you got a chant for Rowan? Yeah. Did you have any chance about you when you played? Any chance? Uh, what was it, Spurs, was it? He had loads of chances. You went to fucking... Uh, all over the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wouldn't have understood most yeah. of the chants. You like that one, didn't you? Where was it? We is love it Ricky. Ricky. We love Rowan Ricketts. Da, la, 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 la. Uh, no, that's fucking we, shit. That's no, fucking um, <laughs> that was... It's not, we love cricket. Oh, how's it go? I I don't, oh, I we don't, don't like, like cricket. cricket. Oh, oh no, we, we love cricket. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was it. That. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's mouth is Rowan Ricketts. Like yeah, yeah, the audio description, Jimmy's, Jimmy's sort of on top of Rowan and they're just fucking each other. <laughs> um, so you've got one for... Um, oh, before we do one. your round one, we've got the one... P- keep sending in your chance to at Dave Magic Sponge or hashtag Magic Sponge. We've got a good one. This video is amazing, Jimmy, of you scoring a free kick for Ipswich against Scunthorpe. It was on Twitter the other week, and then they start singing your chant, and then the goal goes in. They go mad, and then they start singing your chant again, which is "Oh Jimmy Bullard, you're the um, Oh Jimmy Bullard, you're the love of my life. Oh Jimmy Bullard, I let you shag my wife. Oh Jimmy Bullard, I want curly hair too." Oh, I love that song. Um, I fucking love that song. So, um, <laughs> um, what's oh, well, so we've got a couple more here as well. Hang on, from, hang on, next, tell me another one of mine. That, that is, that's it, that's a, that your gold hip switch. Oh, there's one here from Hull. Go give on. the money give back. back, give the money back, give the money back, give the money back. He's brilliant. bleeding cash. Um, so, oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> so, fucking uh, liberties, bro. Oh, yeah, this is um, this one, the chant thing, um, by Mark <laughs> McBurney. Um, said that Dean Gherkin um, was, that, was a goalkeeper and had an absolute shocker, Dean Gherkin. And um, the fans were singing at him, you should have stayed in a burger, stayed in a burger. <laughs> yeah. Dean Gherkin. How does Bro, that, Rick, how does that looking that at me like I'm just eating my own shit. What the fuck is this? How does that spread around a group of football fans? I don't know. Like, His surname's Ricketts, Gherkin. Like, where did you get them? Uh, what's your own Ricketts chant, Ian? Right, so we've got to join it. The lyrics are... Um, is the reason we bought our tickets? It's a legend, Rowan Ricketts coming at you like a. Pl- sp- just well, I'm just letting everyone know the oh, lyrics cool. so we can Let's all go. join in. Otherwise, it's just <laughs> one man shouting. Let's go. Right, <laughs> I'll Ricketts sing it then. Like so everyone join. <laughs> if the reason <laughs> we bought our tickets <laughs> is a legend, <laughs> is Rowan, Rowan Ricketts. Ricketts coming at you like a plague of crickets? <laughs> is a legend, <laughs> is Rowan Ricketts? Ricketts. Need to do that over and over. Hang again. on, you didn't yeah. put the word brother, brother in there. 
What? When was I supposed to be lying? <laughs> this is what I'm <laughs> fucking <laughs> seriously. Oh, fuck right. are you on this let me, fucking let me do it again. <laughs> let me do it again. Oh my god. Is the this reason is what I'm we want to take no. is. It's the bro for Rowan Rick Yes, it's him. <laughs> Yeah, well done, Smithy. Um, thanks for coming in, mate. You've been brilliant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We haven't shouted out my fucking podcast yet. Have you got a podcast? I am fucking now, innit? I'm one of the biggest ones I've got. Shout- no, I've got one. I've done about five shows. Oh, what's it called? It's the Rowan Ricketts Show. The Rowan Ricketts Show? Yeah, so after they've listened to this show, yeah. go and download the Rowan Ricketts well, Show on iTunes. Why don't you Why don't you get me and Beckett on that? Oh, we'll. go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 fucking one winning seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one winning seven. These comics don't like it out then, do they? You need to get <laughs> me in a left back, mate. I'll stop, stop you leaking in four against stage. fucking... Anyway... <laughs> Um, what, what do you talk about on your show? I talk about similar things, like different stories. I that I've experienced, yeah, stuff, but it's more like I'm getting, trying to get into like... Mate? Oh, lovely, javelin. Just more stuff, <laughs> more dating stuff. Dating? Cause, yeah, because I've just been tapped up by a dating company to become a dating coach. Oh, really? Oh, are you good with... Have you, are you married or are you single? Or are you... Is he good? I'm single, but yeah, but I'm extremely, extremely charming. What? You are? You are. <laughs> yeah. 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 A lot of women call me out for advice and different yeah. things. I'm starting yeah. to... So they're brilliant. Guys, I so definitely Rowan, won't need to come The Royal Ricketts on. Show, it's called. Cool. Yeah. Brilliant, I'll definitely download and listen to that. Thanks so much, mate. You've been brilliant. Hopefully you come back on again. Um, we'll see you next time. You'll say anything. Goodbye, anyone will say anything. Um, yeah, goodbye. Cheers for listening. Goodbye, everyone. Love you. Thank Bye. you, Rowan Ricketts. Take care. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Legend loved it.